Hi, sorry you can't see my face. I'm a real person, I promise. I'd like to give you a quick demonstration of uh, the things that I've been learning. <coughs> the first thing is sappy on a broken keyboard. And obviously I'm holding a guitar. And just now I was trying to learn the chords for sappy uh, on the guitar. And it's a lot easier than the other song that I'm learning, which I'm going to show you afterwards. Uh, the main reason is because I'm using the downstroke. Uh, and like, keep in mind, if you look up Sappy on the internet and you look up the Nirvana song, and then you hear what I'm playing now, you're going to hear something completely different, especially if you don't know what to listen for. But these are the chords that the internet says you play if you want to play the song for yourself at home, whatever. Uh, so uh, it starts, the first is uh, G sharp minor, or maybe it's just G minor, I don't know. Uh, or G, G5 sharp minor, something like that. And it uh, starts on the fourth fret. Uh, the sixth string you press down on the fourth fret, and then you press down on the neighboring two strings, two frets down. And most of the strings are like that, except for A5, which is just these two frets, but you also, like, these are power chords, so you only play three strings. So A5. You play you press down on two, but you're playing on three. Anyways, uh, yeah, look it up. And I'm sure if you play guitar at all, you know all of this, and you're probably much better than me. But I just wanted to make this video, so sorry. <laughs> Anyways. not playing it in the right order but those are the chords uh, and I'm gonna try to play it in order it seems it's so counterintuitive but I'm gonna play it in order and see if it sounds right <laughs> Thank you. 
that's basically it. And keep in mind, I just learned how to play this on guitar like literally like 20 minutes ago. I'd say five minutes ago, but that's hyperbole. Uh, anyways, so uh, the other song I wanted to show you is something that I transcribed myself. Um, I actually did literally transcribe it onto the computer, uh, but when I say transcribe, what I mean is I uh, watched a YouTube video of a person playing the song, and then I copied what I saw her play on the guitar um, onto this. So this also has power chords. But it's a lot more complicated because, uh, just for example, the first uh, the first chord is, and as you can see, that's an upstroke. So, so downstrokes. That's a downstroke. I'm really bad. That's an upstroke. That's a downstroke. They they have different sounds. You have to if you're interested in music at all, you have to be able to hear <laughs> that those are different sounds. So yeah, um, I was originally learning this. This is actually G major, um, and it actually might start on A sharp. Anyways, um, but I've been learning it on G major, and I haven't practiced it at all today. I started learning it yesterday, and I was really, really bad, as in, like, I could not even get the progression, like, one, two, three, the, the chord, then chord, then chord. Uh, <laughs> I could not even do that, uh, even one stroke at a time. Um, so, uh, and there, this is mainly because I'm doing an upstroke, and it's on a power chord, so I have to not play, uh, the third, uh, string. This is the first string, this is the sixth string. I don't know why they made it that way, uh, but anyways. Um, so I have to not play the third string, and I have to do an upstroke. And the way she's doing it, um, she just strums with her hand, and I think she has a wide neck on her acoustic, or maybe it's a classical guitar, and she, I think, like, I think she has small hands, um, so I think she's muting the first three strings, and so she can just strum up and down, and it's no problem, um, but I... Well, I can, I could probably learn how to strum with my hand. My nail's a little bit torn, um, but yeah, anyways, uh, so I'll show you, I haven't practiced it yet today. I got semi-okay with it, but I'll just show you the basic thing. both upstrokes and downstrokes, so if I were to do that, I'd do...
I'm sorry to Emmy for butchering your song. And I did not mean, I really did not intend to film so soon. It's just sappy as power chords also. So as you can see, I'm a lot better at sappy because I'm doing the downstroke and because it's the first three chords except for A5 is the middle three. So in a way that's kind of comparable to doing an upstroke. I don't know. Um, also, just generally, I naturally do downstrokes. When I started learning, I only did downstrokes. And I played on an electric. I still have the electric. I still play on it, or I want to play on it. I love it. It's like, I, I, in my mind, I still prefer it to this, although I'm starting to love this. And I, it's good that I love this because I paid money for this. And I didn't pay money for the other thing. Um, anyways, uh, so, it's completely legit, my friend gave it to me, uh, or lent it to me. Um, anyways, so, uh, yeah, so, I guess, if it were to start at A5, it would go... See, I'm getting better every time I do it, just like how you're supposed to when you practice. But actually, with practice and with this song in particular, it's going to take, like, actually, like, I've practiced other songs and it's taken weeks. And I don't know why. It's just, I know the person who I'm learning their song, so it's like, I feel all this pressure to be good at it right away. Um, anyways, um, and, and, I also wanted to mention, uh, so this is, what I played was just, uh, in her version, it's the first 30 seconds of the song before she starts singing, and she has an amazing singing voice, and, um, like, I'm pretty sure she's a better guitarist than the power chords she uses, and also, I'm not sure I have, I have the right power chords, but anyways, uh, my point is, She's using really simplistic guitar. Um, I, I, I mean no disrespect. Like if 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 the guitar was important to her, and uh, she also has a beautiful flow with the guitar. Um, but in my mind, the singing is the more important part of the song, and the guitar, like the, the power chords, it's easy. It's like it's just something for the background while she sings. Um, and, uh, I have uh, other theories about the song that I won't talk about. Um, and I mean no d disrespect, I love the song. Obviously I love the song, I'm trying to learn the song, and I like the person. And, um, uh, so, that's pretty much it. Um, for fun, I thought I'd do power chord. Nirvana, and then I do power chord sappy again. Um, I don't know power chord Nirvana on the acoustic that well. Like I said, I was playing with the electric, um, and I want to see how it sounds. Uh, I'm a lot better with the up down stroke on the electric, so I'll probably just be doing down strokes. Um, but uh, yeah, I want to see if uh, that's difficult because I'm not that familiar with this guitar. And like I said, like just talking about it, I'm starting to fall in love with it. Uh, I say love a lot. I've been saying love a lot. And it's kind of an affectation. Um, I, if you know what an affectation is, the more you know about like what an affectation is, at first you're like, oh, that's such a horrible thing. Why would someone have an affectation? 
but then it, it, it's like it becomes humorous and um, uh, so anyways I'm gonna sorry Obviously, that's a lot more difficult. Uh, I was, I think, I was muting uh, the strings on the electric with uh, the side of my index finger, and I'm not comfortable doing that perfectly here. But um, I'm gonna just slow it down a bit. Um, I think I was too excited or too. Uh, engrossed in my own ability, which I apparently do not have, so I'm going to try it again. So that's what someone on the internet told me to learn uh, how to play lithium. Obviously it's not the whole song. It's, uh, I looked up the full tabs and I also know how to play it in drop D which is kind of cool. It sounds, in my mind it sounds better in drop D. Um, again, this is all on the electric. I mean I could try it on here. Um, but. Uh, <coughs> Also, I forget if I tuned this before I started playing, um, but it's sounds... That's more or less all right. <laughs> it sounds out of tune, I think, um, but I'm not going to bore you with that. Um, I think it's playing fine. Um, so, let's see, let's, I said sappy again. It's either that or this. Okay, let's try this.
Okay, so considering the, this song, this song, Considering that song, I have a day's worth of practice, and the other song, the Safi song, um, I just learned, like, it's now, I guess, half an hour ago, or 40 minutes, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't, whatever. And, uh, just, I'm sorry, I'm going to end the video, but I just wanted to show this thing. This is C major. And I don't know, I could look it up, but I'm sure you could look it up too. If you take the middle finger on the fourth string and move it to the third string, sure I toned it. I, I made a good tone with it, but uh, it's... You see what I'm doing? So that's just something. This is... <laughs> this shouldn't be guitar lessons, and you probably already know this if you're watching it. Anyways. Um, I just point that out um, because I think it's cool. And then later on when you're doing things like, I don't even know, I don't know if there's an improper place to um, bar this. I think it could be barred anywhere. Um, but let's just bar it here. So this is the C major barred. And I don't know if I were doing caged, I could tell you if this was like a G or a D or whatever, um, based on how far down. It's a different thing, or it could be a sharp or something, I don't know, so. So that's the C barred, and then you can... In this case, it's your index finger, move it to the third string. No, okay, I'm going to stop there. I was going to show you the thing you can do with D, um, D major and the D bard, um, but I don't need to make an hour video. I think I am past that point. I am doing a lot of practicing by myself, and um, you've probably, if you've been following along, I know some people have been following along, and not everyone following along will see this, and, uh, but the point is, um, I'm just gonna, like, take it easy with the filming every single minute of practice and just practice, um, when I feel like it. I don't know if you care. You probably don't care. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was gonna say some of you might be relieved, but I can't imagine why anyone would feel they need to watch these, um, but anyways. Thank you for watching if you have been, and thank you for watching this video specifically. And as my affectation sign-off is, I love you. You can see my crouch. Okay, I'm sorry.